Hey, what's up guys, MKBHD here, back with another video in the fastest Mac Mini on the face of the planet Earth video series. Yeah, so uh, if you appreciate this video series or if you like it, go ahead and give it a thumbs up on this video. It really does uh, help us out and it'll uh, get this next episode rolling out pretty quick. Either way, this is going to be one of the shorter videos in the series uh, as it's a pretty simple upgrade. But today we're going to be upgrading the 2011 Mac Mini's random access memory. Yeah. So let's go ahead and get started with this one. So for this particular upgrade, there are no screwdrivers or any sort of tools needed, just the Mac Mini and the 16 gigabytes of DDR3 RAM, which can be found at that link in the description, and possibly a supervisor to help us out. This RAM here is 1333 megahertz RAM, the fastest that this Mac Mini's motherboard can handle, and we got it from Otherworld Computing, as you can see here. By the way, if you're wondering about the total cost or prices of this build, We'll have that covered in a sort of conclusive video later. But on with the RAM unboxing, which was super duper easy. I actually did need a tool for this, but you just open it and bam, there's the RAM. That rhymed. You can take the mini, flip it over, and find where the dots line up that hold the back on, and you can twist it off and have all the access to the internal, same as before. And the RAM happens to be right on top, so it's super easy for us here and makes it easier than the SSD install we did earlier. Basically, we can unseat both of the pre-installed 2GB RAM chips just by pulling the metal brackets apart and popping the DIMMs up where they can be slid out. And you can take both of them out, leaving the slots empty, and then installing a brand new RAM is equally simple. Just make sure you seat the RAM first by slipping it into place and then pushing it down until it clicks, and do that with both of your DIMMs. And that's it, the RAM is installed, so you can put the back cover back on the Mini and boot back into Lion. Once you've booted back up, if all goes well, you should be able to go straight into OS X and hit that Apple logo in the menu bar and click About This Mac, where you can confirm that your memory total is now 16GB. And if you want further proof that both of your 8GB DIMMs are working, just click More Info. Under Memory, you'll have a handy dandy little diagram for you. So there you go, your 1333 MHz random access memory is now in full operation. Boom! Thanks for watching this video, and in the next part we'll really see what this machine can do, so leave a thumbs up if you want to see it sooner. Either way, see you next time guys. Peace.